Parliament will sit two extra days as the government seeks to get its industrial relations shake-up passed by Christmas. Negotiations with the crossbench continue, including over how many small businesses will be exempt. The fate of the government's industrial relations bill rests in this senator's hands. This has been so rushed. ACT Senator David Pocock wants more time and a few changes. 85, 90% of this bill would, would pass today in the Senate. It, it has my support. It's the last details. One of the most controversial details is the union-backed push to expand multi-employer bargaining. It would allow workers from different companies but in the same industry to band together for better pay and conditions. Please press pause on these radical industrial relations changes. Small businesses with fewer than 15 employees will be exempt from the bargaining. But employers and the coalition believe that threshold is too low. 56,000 small and medium enterprises will be forced to the table. This is the exact opposite of what we need. Angus Taylor's like Chicken Little. You know, the sky's going to fall in because some Australian wage earners are going to get an increase in wages. The Workplace Relations Minister has told Parliament that threshold will be looked at. This is one of the issues where consultation and negotiation is happening. It's been revealed small business forced into the new bargaining process would have to pay on average almost $15,000 each. Medium-sized businesses, $75,000, and large businesses, nearly $95,000. If this legislation goes through, they're going to have to put some money aside to be fair to them. They are an estimate per employer. So they could be higher, is what you're saying? They could be. They could be a lot lower in for example, be higher. when... The small business minister wouldn't repeat that figure when pressed in question time. Many businesses already incur costs and that many businesses are already covered the by their Longman. employer peak organisation. The government is doing a lot of wheeling and dealing to get its agenda through the Senate in this final two weeks of Parliament. It's made changes to the National Anti-Corruption Commission and also struck a deal with the crossbench on electric vehicles. Labor bowed to pressure from the Greens and David Pocock, removing subsidies for plug-in hybrid vehicles by 2025. It's good. We've made it better. Uh, it will mean more uh, EVs on the road. The Senate has added two extra sitting days this Friday and next. The government has forced the upper house to vote on 25 separate bills before 2pm this Friday. It means next week will be dedicated to only three proposals. Industrial relations, the National Integrity Commission and territory rights. Trudy McIntosh, Sky News, Canberra.